The video, shared by Meghan Markle and Prince Harry fan account Harry Meghan Updates, has given fans a sneak peek into the famous baby shower organized for the Duchess of Sussex by her American friends in New York. The footage shows the dessert buffet allegedly had by the Duchess's guests, featuring macaron towers and cake pops. Meghan Markle receives flowers and a tattoo to mark royal baby royal bombshell, how Princess Diana exposed woeful mismanagement The buffet was designed by illustrator Darcy Miller, and the four macaron towers are believed to be from Lagerie and to have costed a total of $460. The color scheme featured pastel colors with a predominance of pink which may suggest Meghan and Prince Harry are having a baby girl. It comes as Los Angeles psychic Richard Wynn revealed that Duchess hopes to have a little girl to dress up in lots of children that she will protect like a lioness. Mr. Wynn, one of the favorite psychics of A-listers in Los Angeles, opened up on a conversation on motherhood he said he had with Meghan just months before she met Prince Harry. The 37-year-old former actress headed to the psychic during the spring of 2016 when she was still dating chef Cory Vidiello, Mr. Wynn claimed. The 73-year-old psychic told The Sun on Sunday, she loved children and told me she wanted lots. She wanted a little girl, one she could dress up because she's a real fashionista. She's very domesticated, she said she loved to cook and she's very nurturing. She came across as a real homebody. Megan is a Leo, so a lioness, she will be a very protective mom, and I'm not sure she will want her children in the spotlight which might be tricky. I also think adoption is something she would consider, that's exactly the kind of big-hearted thing she would do. The nurturing nature of the Duchess goes hand in hand with the fact she showed no interest in pursuing a career in Hollywood but preferred cooking, the psychic said. Mr. Wynn said, I see so many driven, ambitious actresses in my job and in this town, but Meghan just wasn't like that. And that really impressed me. I mentioned the possibility of her doing movies in Hollywood, but it wasn't her thing. She had no interest. Instead she used to talk about food lots and how she loved to cook. She told me she wanted to do a cooking show on the Food Network. During their $500 hour sessions, Megan also spoke about her love life 